Hi, I'm Jeff Cialetti, Editor-in-Chief of Craft Spirits Magazine, and welcome to this edition of Craft Spirits TV. I'm here in Washington, D.C. at 1-8 Distilling, which is celebrating its fifth birthday this week. And to mark the occasion, the distillery had a bit of a birthday party, which included some special guests. Among those was a certain founding father who was known to do a little bit of distilling himself. But the biggest part of the celebration was the release of 1-8's district-made bottled and bond rye whiskey. To tell you a little more about that, I caught up with co-founder and head distiller Alex Lawfer. Today is especially fun to have our first bottled and bond rye. Uh, it's our Malin style rye. Love working with our local farms and expressing the terroir of the Mid-Atlantic in our rye whiskey. Uh, our cream bill is real, real heavy on the malts. We use malted rye from Riverbend Malt House down in Asheville. Uh, we're about 28% malted rye in the mash bill and about, uh, it's about 11% corn. Corn is grown out in Chestertown, Maryland uh, at Land's End Farm and then the remainder is rye grown in Pulpepper, Virginia. We hope this is the first of uh, a regular uh, calendar of releases that are either bottled in bond or single cast depending on the, the barrel itself and uh, potentially we'll be able to do uh, larger releases and get them into distribution. And the distillery was offering tastes of the new spirit on Saturday, January 11th, which was also the day that it released a very limited number of bottles of the rye whiskey, only 200 and they're probably already gone, retailing for $70. Uh, we don't expect today's uh, release to last much beyond today. <laughs> And we're only about two and a half months out from the American Craft Spirits Association's 7th Annual Distillers Convention and Vendor Trade Show in Portland, Oregon on March 29th to the 31st. But before the main event begins, we have some very special pre-convention programs. And here to tell you about some of those are the three co-chairs of the ACSA Education Committee. Hi. Courtney, Jake, and Amber here, and we're the chairs of the American Craft Spirits Association's Education Committee, and we're proud to introduce a new offering to our members and to potential new distillery owners. ACSA is hosting our first ever Distillery 101 training program Saturday and Sunday, March 28th and 29th, prior to our annual convention in Portland, tailored for our folks thinking about getting into the industry as well as bringing up those new hires up to speed. This training will focus on business decision making, production safety, and sales and marketing. It will introduce attendees to skilled advisors, help them develop a network of peers, and ensure that as they move forward, they're doing so with the knowledge and resources necessary to keep them on track. We look forward to seeing you in Portland, March 28th and 29th, for this powerhouse of a program as we work to ensure we're all set up for our best business success. Because we know the better each of us does, the better we all do together. And until next week, I'm Jeff Cialetti, and this is Craft Spirits TV.